Hey guys, welcome to part three of the Node.js Express Cassandra video series. Uh, up to this point, we have everything installed. Node.js is installed on our Windows system, um, as well as um, Cassandra. In this video, uh, we're going to generate our application and just get it get, get it initially set up and uh, ready for us to work on it. All right, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder in my C drive and it's just going to be called projects. All right, so what I want you to do is, is the same thing. Just create, if you don't already have a projects folder where you, um, where you have all your projects, um, create that, but do not create the actual project folder because that's going to be generated for us. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click and go to git bash and that's going to open that uh, command line that, uh, that git offers right in this projects folder so that's what we want all right we need to do a few things here first thing i'm going to say npm install and then we want this g flag whoop, express all right the g is for globally we want to install globally Alright, so that installed Express or got it ready to be installed. Next thing, um, before Express 4 came out, you could just generate your application using Express, but now with Express 4, we need to actually install the generator. So I'm going to say npm install g express generator. All right. So now we have the generator and we can actually generate our application and its folder. So we can do that with express and then the application name. Okay, so I'm just gonna call this application uh, my subscribers, all right? Okay, and you can see that it's generated all these files and folders. So if we go to our projects folder, you should now have a folder called my subscribers or whatever you named it. And in here, you can see that we have all the, the initial Express folders. Okay, the binaries folder. We have the public folder, which holds all the images, um, global JavaScripts, and style sheets. Also gives us a style sheet to work with. Um, routes, this is where all our routes go. Basically, our index route is going to take care of just displaying the, um, the list of, of subscribers. Uh, and then we'll have some other routes as well, such as the subscriber route, where we can actually just view one user. Um, and then also, we need routes to add and edit subscribers as well. Uh, views, basically, um, we're using Jade. It's a template engine for Node, and um, it's, not, it's not regular HTML. If I actually open this, I can show you a little bit. It works on indentation. All right, so normally we would surround this content with an HTML tag up here and then an ending HTML tag down here. When we're using Jade, we're using indents. So after HTML, you can see that everything is indented one space. And what that means is that it's wrapped in this. All right, if I move this head back, then it's not going to be wrapped in this anymore. It's going to come after the closing HTML tag. So you don't have two versions. You don't have the, the, the beginning and end tag. You just have one, and then it goes by the indentation. And one thing I should mention, if you're using Sublime Text like I am, um, then you want to go down here where it says Tab Size, and you want to make sure that you go to Convert Indentation to Tabs. Actually, you can use spaces or tabs, but not both, okay, because you'll get an error. I might actually get an error with this. So... Um, so that's the layouts, I mean, I'm sorry, that is the jade files, the views. Now this layout.jade, this is the master view. You can see it has the doc type, it has the HTML and body tags. Um, basically all our views will be inside of this view and those will go here in the block content. Alright, so this is where you may want to put your navigation, um, your footer, header, things like that. All right, so let's close that. And it gives us an index view. 
basically uh, whenever you create a view it has to have this and this and then it has the content Whoop. so this this page just has basically an h1 tag and why this is set equal to title because title is actually a variable this is going to come from the route and that's why we have it down here in this format and I'll show you what I mean uh, in a few minutes so those are the views um, I just want to close all the other I think these are all old alright so back in our file structure next we have app.js and that's basically the gateway to our application uh, that's where we define let me just open that up that's where we do all our requires for our modules um, the set up the view engine you can see that we're using Jade for the view engine uh, this is the main instantiation of the express variable or the app variable object and then here is just all the middleware that express uses actually this is this here is where we can define our routes basically uh, we're going to define the home or the index page which is just a slash and then also the slash users which is just a I guess a, a default a sample route that they give you and then down here you can you can specify different in, uh, development you can you can um, your environment can be in development it can be production testing whatever you want all right so I'm just gonna leave all this for now in the last folder I'm sorry the last file I want to show you is this package.json file and this is very important this is where you want to define your application info you can see we have the name the version which I'm going to change to 001 and then here is where we define all the dependencies okay so these are all here are all modules that need to be installed they're not already installed um, we just gotta run a command to do that but before we do that we want to make sure that we install the Cassandra driver alright so down at the bottom here actually we want to put a comma here Oops. okay and then we're gonna do Cassandra driver okay and then what we want to do here is the version number now if you don't know the version number then you just want to use an asterisk and that's gonna give you the latest version okay so that's the only epic the only module that we need to add here so I'm gonna go ahead and save this and how we install those dependencies is through this command line we're going to do just npm install and that should install all of those um, let me see what's this couldn't read dependency can't find a package.json oh we're not in the actual project folder uh, we're in projects so we need to change directory to my subscribers all right now we should run npm install <coughs> okay and now if we go to our folder you should see now we have a node modules folder it has all the, the modules we need including Express, Jade, and also the Cassandra driver. Alright, so that's all set. Now, before I end the video, uh, one more thing. I just want to go to app.js and we just want to include the Cassandra um, module or driver. So variable Cassandra and we're just going to say require Cassandra driver okay so now we'll save that and now we can try to run our server okay so to run the server all we have to do is do npm start alright so you can see that it is running we have a blinking cursor here uh, so let's go ahead and open Chrome
And what we want to do is go to HTTP. Local host and the default port is going to be 3000. All right, so we're getting a jade error, and this is coming from what I talked about with the spaces and tabs. You can see that right here it says you can use tabs or spaces, but not both. All right, so I'm going to go back to views, and I it's probably in the layout file. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of bring all these back. All right, and then after HTML, we want to do a tab, tab, tab. All right, so basically it should look like that. I'm going to save it and reload, and there it is. So this is the, the, the default welcome page. So everything's up and running. Um, one thing I want to mention is that when you're editing JavaScript files, when you're editing routes, things like that, you need to restart the server. Uh, if you're just editing Jade documents, that then you don't need to restart it. All right. So in the next video, we will be creating our route for the index page, which will just show all of our subscribers, um, and then we'll go from there.